Namaste and welcome to Sugarcane AI's learning series. My name is Nikhilesh. I'm a founder of a company called AIML etc. Basically, we teach artificial intelligence and large language models in a very simple language. So in this video, we'll talk about prompt engineering. So you must have heard of this term called prompt engineering. Let's decode it. So we know that, you know, in order to interact with the computer system, we need to write a code. What is a code? Code is a set of instructions that we write in a programming language, right? That programming language could be Python, Java, JavaScript. So now with the advent of large language models like ChatGPT, we can interact with models in our natural language, right? So basically we can give instructions or we can ask whatever we want them to perform in a very simple natural language. So that brings us to this, that what is co, what is a prompt? So prompts are nothing but human written instructions. So whatever you write in that window, when you offer in order for chat GPT to perform certain actions, everything which you write is known as prompt. So whatever you write here is a prompt and this is known as context window, right? And whatever the output you get is known as inference. So even if you ask, so what does the word prompt mean? This itself is a prompt and whatever the answer chat GPT generates is known as inference. So what is prompt engineering? Prompt engineering is basically how to write better prompts. But why, why we need to write what better prompts? Because the quality of the input actually determines the quality of the output. For example, what could be a bad prompt? So if you write, if you write, write a product description for a laptop. Now a better way could be write a product description for a laptop with Intel Core i7 processor and NVIDIA graphics card. So now basically you are giving very specific instruction to chat GPT. So before that chat GPT has to assume a lot of stuff after the, with this, with this prompt chat GPT is getting very specific information. So as it is getting the quality input, the output, which you get is also desired and it will also be a quality output. So let's understand what are the best practices to follow while writing prompts. The number one is, Let's understand that we need to write clear and concise prompts. So for example, if you write, write a summary of the article on artificial intelligence, but here you are not specifying how, what should be the word limit. But if you can write that, write a 200 word summary of the article, then you are giving clear and concise instructions to chat GPT. Second method is, if you, for example, if you just write a prompt, write a short, short story. Now chat GPT doesn't know the context. So instead what you can do, you can write, write a short story about the person who discovers a hidden treasure in their attic. So the idea here is that when you are asking something for chat GPT to do something, you need to provide context to them so that they understand what exactly the other person needs to do. Now, the third technique is specify your goal or your intention very clearly. So for example, if you just write, write something about meditation, chat GPT has to basically assume a lot of things. Instead, what you can write, write a paragraph about the benefits of meditation for mental health. Now, 
chat gpt understood that what exactly the intention behind writing this uh text or writing this content fourth technique is you need to be very specific so for example you can write write a specific recipe for pumpkin soup instead what you could do you can write write a recipe for vegan pumpkin soup with cashew cream topping now if if you get the answer which is not as per your expectation then provide feedback but that too also a very clear feedback so for example rewrite the paragraph will not you know enhance your your answer maybe rewrite the following paragraph to make it more concise and clear so the, the this feedback will help chat gpt to give you what exactly you want now this is a very uh, very useful technique that ask the model to adopt a role so for example you can say that you can say that you know you are an expert in writing python code right so basically no, now you are saying that you know chat gpt you are assigning a role to chat gpt that it's a python code writing expert so and then you can specify that you know then after giving this role then you can specify that create a doubly linked list insert commands for each line of code and then you say that your solution begins now also a very important technique in prompt engineering is that you give model some time to think and how do you how do you give a model to time to think basically instead of giving lots of information or lots of instruction at once divide those instructions in steps so for example you can say so for example if you want the model to first summarize your text and then translate the text into some other language then instead of writing everything at once what you can do you can write step by step process to do it step one you can say that you know whatever we provide whatever the input will provide in triple back and triple quotes summarize this text in one sentence with a prefix that says summary and second translate the summary from step 1 into spanish with a prefix that says translation so that's how you'll basically you'll give model time to think so it, it knows that first i need to summarize and second i need to then translate now provide examples it's always better to give examples to chat gpt so that they understand what exactly we uh, we want so for example we first give this example that you know teach me about patience and then we gave one example to it that, that the river that carves the deepest valley flows from a modest spring the grandest symphony originates from a single note the most intricate tapestry begins with a solitary thread so basically this is how you are asking model to teach you patience now similarly now you are asking that teach me about the ocean so now chat gpt understands okay basically what the what style you prefer in order to learn something now i'll tell you a very simple basic you know a prompt engineering hack you can use chat gpt to improve your prompts so for example you know you can write that from now on whenever i ask a question suggest a better version of my question so now you can use prompt you, you, you can basically use chat gpt to work for you in order to generate better prompts so you give that prompt and then ask chat gpt to refine that prompt so for example so if i give this what chat gpt responded with sure i can do that how i'll still try to answer your original question to the best of my ability here is the better version of your last question so would you like me to suggest a more effective way of phrasing your questions in the future or right now let's say if i just ask what color is the sky so then it it said a possible better version of your question could be what is the specific explanation for the blue color of the sky during the daytime 
would you like me to use this version ahead so thanks for watching this video i hope you understood what prompt engineering is all about and now you can yourself write better prompts or you can use chat gpt in helping you to write better prompts see you in the next video thank you